What is the extra leverage we've got here with potentially motivated home sellers? Well, one of the things that's going on right now in our current market, as interest rates have gone up, real estate agents for traditional home sellers, somebody that's on the multiple listing service, they're trying to find a retail buyer, they are not motivated. The way that they are finding buyers, or at least one of them, is they're giving concessions. And concessions in a big way for home buyers to help them buy down that interest rate a little bit because we've got sticker shock when it comes to interest rates right now when people are buyers. They're thinking, well, shouldn't normal interest rates be two, the high twos, the low threes, the mid threes? Well, you know, that was a government subsidized scenario to help get us through the pandemic. That is not a normal situation. Where we are now, around the sixes and sevens, that's a more normal situation. But people are still thinking interest rates have doubled. They see a lot of the things on the news. They're thinking, you know, this is so high. Really, it's not high. But besides that, many buyers, they can't qualify like they could when interest rates were lower for the price range that they one time could qualify for. So again, we're, we're thinking from the seller standpoint, what does that do to their negotiations? What does that do for their goals of actually selling their house because they need to do it without motivation? They just need to sell their house. What real estate agents in my area are doing and chances are in your area as well is they're having sellers give concessions to help buy down the first year of the interest rate for the home buyer. Now they still have to qualify as if the interest rate was what it's going to be for the next 29 years, but they're able to at least get some relief from an interest rate and home loan monthly payment standpoint for about that first year. So that costs money to do. And that's just a numerical scenario, and that's going to be based on where interest rates are. But what I am hearing in my area, and it's probably going to be different for your area, but it gives you at least a point of reference, is the average concession that's being paid by sellers as I'm making this video is around $9,300. $9,300, and then you've got negotiations that's pulling the price down even more. So that $9,300 is not computed into the lower price that sellers are having to accept. So when we've got extra leverage, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about concessions right now, and if interest rates stay a bit higher, and if they go up, well, it's become more of a norm here. In the beginning, in my Phoenix market, of course, that was like, hey, we'll, we'll help you out with those interest rates. And now, of course, that's become just more accepted, more expected. So then what do sellers do? They lower their price or they at least lower their price within the negotiations. So when you're dealing with potentially motivated home sellers, it's not just you're going to have to pay, you know, 6% give or take with your, uh, for your real estate agent's commission, plus another how many ever percentage points for closing costs and all those kinds of things, not to mention holding costs. You now can add in average concessions or just concessions. Did you know that you're also expected a lot of times by buyers to buy down their interest rate. And then also, because that's no longer the, the great gift that it once was because it's more expected, then you've got to negotiate even more down from the price you're hoping to get. So those are two very large pieces to help with creating even more leverage when you are talking to potentially motivated home sellers, because if they are motivated and they're just kind of putting up that front because they're hoping for something from some, some buyer is going to come in and save them. You can say the stuff that everybody says, hey, you're not going to have to pay this or this or this, quick uh, closing and all those kinds of things. But also, if you don't do these things and are you aware that people that are coming in are going to be expecting some kind of a rate buy down and they're going to negotiate you down anyway, then you can present that to them and say, I just want you to know the situation right now. The market isn't what it used to be. It's not hot like it used to be. It's not all these buyers lining up as you're well aware. You see it in the news all around you, right? Every day in the news, they're talking about the housing market and how it shifted and how it's tougher. You know, all these things that you can be just presenting. Then as you start to present your service, it just makes more sense. So this is some extra leverage with potentially motivated home sellers. Of course, we just want motivated home sellers, but if they are posturing and we're just presenting the facts that are in front of them, they might not be fully aware of concessions. And then the fact that that's become 
routine and they're still going to need to potentially negotiate and lower their price. Great tools that you now have. I'll share more with you in the next video.